Hi, if you're having trouble with Premiere Pro running very low on system memory, here are a few tips I can give you to try to resolve the issue. So first, in your edit, you can go down to preferences, go to media cache, and make sure to delete the media cache files. Now, when you go to delete them, you have two options here. Delete unused media cache files and delete all media cache files. I suggest that you go for the delete all media cache files, but as you can see, it's grayed out. And here it says available only when no projects are open. So make sure to close your projects, restart Premiere Pro with a fresh um, no project, um, just, just bare Premiere Pro, and then you'll be able to click that setting. After you clear that, that's going to fix most of your issues. But if it doesn't, we can go in our graphic settings. And in the graphics settings, we have graphics performance preference. Now I have After Effects added here already, but now we need to add Premiere Pro as well. And I'll explain why. So we want to first search where Premiere Pro is located. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so if we don't know where it's located, you can just search for it. Right click, open file location. Now this is not the actual location of Premiere Pro. This is the location of the shortcut. So just right click on the shortcut again, open the file location. You'll be taken to the actual folder where the Premiere Pro application is located. And you can copy that file path up here from your search bar, just control C. We can go back to our graphic settings. We can browse and just paste our path to Premiere Pro in our search bar. It's gonna take you directly to the folder that we just found and you're gonna select your Adobe Premiere Pro application. Click on Add, click on Options, and click on High Performance. This is gonna tell your PC to use Premiere Pro, I mean, not to use Premiere Pro, to use your graphics card when Premiere Pro is running, and it's gonna be top priority. This is gonna help with lag, as well as memory issues, and all of your re rendering needs. Hope that helps.